Austin Bordeaux, graduating class of 2015. Uh, for my 40-hour project, I built a ballista, or rather a small ballista. A ballista is a ancient artillery and siege weapon that was invented by the Greeks around the year, supposedly around the year 400 BC, and its first initial user was, according to record, was named Dionysus, Dionysus a Syracuse, which according to everyone in his time, he was a tyrant. But, <laughs> but the, uh, the, the real, it didn't really get recognized for what it could do and how useful it was in the battlefield until um, it fell in the hands of Philip of Macedon and later his son, Alexander the Great. While the Greeks did invent it and did develop it somewhat, the Romans are, were the true champions and masters of this weapon. They, once they had it, they spent, I think it was like nearly 200 years to perfect it to what they had, to what eventually it became. But the development of the ballista was only due to the um, invention of the, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, the torsion springs, which is the use of you take it with some kind of material, wrap it around, oh, if you can see it, you can see what I did, wrap it around something, and then you twist it as hard as you can, and it wants to return to its original position, so it'll, if you stick something in it, it'll swing it back and forth. And that's how that works. You twist the, the top pieces, and you can <laughs> generate a lot of force when you pull the bow back and let it shoot. Uh, start, but, but while when me, me and my were first tightening the torsion bundles, the frame literally bowed two or three inches in, but we didn't see that because <laughs> we were working in the dark. <laughs> so, but that was like a week or two ago, so we were just finishing off because we wanted to shoot it. But, um, I kind of kind of learned from that is you, wanted, you definitely want to be able to see what you're working on, or it may explode in your face. <laughs> that would <would've> really hurt. <laughs> Another one of the issues that we came along was was with was the claw, which is I think you can see the pull string, the area right there. Um, it was initially made out of basically all metal. And I'm not a blacksmith, so I could not do that. So instead, we had we, uh, a little bit ahead of a headache for a while to figure out how to do it. So eventually, I came up with the idea of using a latch gate, the metal piece in the front, a block of wood, and an eyelet. And that basically created the same mechanism, but it didn't look the same. So that was one of the difficulties I had to jump over for it to work. The next big one was the winch. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a weird word. But, um, we, I couldn't, my dad was kind of skeptical about it at first, that I could build it. But after a while, uh, we um, decided to put, as you can see, drill holes in the wood wheels and stick it out through and then put screws in the side of the little opening that was created between the wooden block and the dowel that pushed everything together and apart and that kept it in place as well as the screws dug into everything so now it's you can't rip it out even if you try. <laughs> but uh, I also learned while doing while doing this 40 hour project that you definitely need to start a lot earlier than what you need, think you need to, because when I, first, when I started it, I thought I had plenty of time to build the whole thing, but as you can see, I do not have an actual stand, which I was a little disappointed at that, because all the complications that we um, ran into, it just couldn't do it. <laughs> really disappointed with that, but also that safety glasses, or more I reaffirm, that safety glasses are amazing. Uh, I had a few wooden chips fly at my face, it was kind of scary. As well as I had, couldn't really prevent this, but I also got a uh, metal splinter from placing the toilet rings on the top. 
they're there to make it easy to turn. But uh, 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 I very much enjoyed my 40-hour project. Uh, from everywhere, everything from it bending and scaring the crud out of me, <laughs> and the first arrow that I shot, good, you can see them over there. I had a third one, but when we when I tried to go for shooting long distance, it got about 10 feet in front of the target, decided to angle up, go shoot 20 feet in the air, and hide in the trees, and we still can't find it. <laughs> but um. Before I get to my position, I have to thank my dad, because without him, without him, I would not have been able to do this, and he basically came home from work, changed clothes, and started helping me with my project for nearly two, three weeks. So yeah, I have to check, thank him. But my conclusion to all this, it's roundabout, but it's decent. <laughs> as large and as unified as it had become with the, with the roads, the language, the culture, and basically unrestricted um, movement between the known world and as well as communication, Christianity would not have been able to spread as it did. But Rome could never have gotten as large as it did without its military. And artillery and siege was a fairly large part of their strategies. In fact, each legion had about 50 of these they were smaller, they were called Scorpios, but they were still ballistas. But um, that just goes, goes to show that God can use anything to spread His word. Thank you.